Shalom, I'm all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Raha Kodash, the monastery the apostles, the elders, the great millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the elect out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, uh, real quick, on my last one, I didn't go to uh, Revelation 20. I must have pressed the button. And, uh, it's, it's down. It, it was, I pressed the button. I, I ain't, I ain't going to blame it on the phone. I, you know, you... You click on the wrong little pixel or whatever. But uh, let's go ahead and finish it out. Um, you know, the end, basically, the judgment on the wicked and, and on the elect. Because, you know, dying is not the, that's not the end. It's not the end all be all. Uh, which you have, uh, res you have reincarnation when you return to the earth in, in uh, the same spirit in another flesh, right? And then you have resurrection when your return, you know, uh, your spirit is returned to the earth, you know, basically in the same flesh. <laughs> All right, you, you might have been sick or whatever and died, but then your body, your spirit returns back to that body, you know, like the Lord did with Lazarus. You know, it was another man who uh, I think I believe he fell off the balcony, and he was uh, he was resurrected. All right, but this is um because the, the 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 book is gonna be open and people are gonna be resurrected. All right, they're gonna be brought back. Um, this is Revelation 17 and 8. Now, yeah, I was watching uh, this movie, uh, Long Legs. You know about these damn um, Edomites. You know, basically, you know, bringing evil spirits on people. You know, you have to you have to watch it, man. It's it's some it's, it's a doll and it's, it's a bunch of crazy shit going on. But basically, uh, the, the the one dude I'm not gonna get a movie away, but spoiler alert: there's one guy in it. He starts quoting the Bible. You know, talking about the beast that stood on the. He's talking about shit America. He's talking about America. You know, and and they put stuff like that in the movies for those who are in the know, right? Those who. Or, or, or initiated, you know, which, you know, through the spirit, we, we understand, you know, what's being said. And you have certain Edomites, you know, they also study the scriptures too. You know, study, certain, certain of those uh, high level witches, you know, they study the, the devils believe and tremble. All right. And there's not, there's not going to be any escape from this, you know, even if, you know, because many people are going to be raised back up, but then the scriptures also tells you that you're going to have those elites who uh, go across the world, you know, tied under the rocks, that the rocks fall on us. And uh, uh, you're not, nobody's going to escape. Right? Nobody escapes. Even if you leave America, you, you know what I'm saying, you scoff, you do all this bullshit, you wicked Israelites out there, you know, look, this shit about to go down. I got my plane ticket. We out of here. And the Lord said, what? Bring them forth who would not serve me. All right, Luke 19 and 27. But those my enemy, because America's going to be completely burned up. So for us to, to, to bring, to grab people up, that means you escaped out of America. This is Luke 19 and 27. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. And this is all enemies. But it includes you wicked Israelites too. It says that which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. And that would require, this would require the Lord to be on the scene for him to say that. Bring hither and slay them before me. All right, and because during, during the time, you know, 2,000 years ago, this never happened. The Lord didn't have people grabbed up all, all these wicked Israelites, bring them hither. That that never happened yet. All right, that never happened yet. All right, in the in the parable above, it talks about those who have these different talents, right? These different pounds, you know, and then they're supposed to flip their talents and and, and bring increase unto the Lord, you know. And then you have the wicked servant who who buried the money and. He ain't even, like the Lord said, you didn't even put it in the bank. <laughs> that it might, it might give some, you know, get some interest.
All right? Hey, that's why it's written. He said, what? If I go up into heaven, thou art there. Let's get that. All right, Psalm 139 and 8. If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I, t yeah. Hey, verse 7. Whither shall I go from, from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? All right, and it's, it's nowhere. It's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide. All right, it, where Esau, it says that. It says, though they, they climb up to heaven, though they descend into hell. Yeah, this is Amos 9 and 2. Because you really have to, you really have to uh, put the fear, you know, the fear, the fear of the Heavenly Father is the beginning of wisdom. You know, this is why Paul said what he said. You know, he said, I'm a prisoner of Yahweh Shai. You know, doing this work is a yoke. It's a yoke because we understand that, <laughs> hey, if I if I if I leave, if I fall out, if I quit, like he said, you're gonna be beaten with many stripes. You're gonna you're gonna get fucked up. You know, it's not it's no it's no walking away um, from the Lord. You know, Him opening your mind up, and then you could just go back to sleep. That's not how it works. All right, and even when Cypher tried to do it, <laughs> that shit didn't work. This is Amos 9 and 1. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the posts may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, then shall mine hand take them, Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will, you know, Mount Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. All right, Le Leviathan. All right, because the armies of Esau are, damn, damn dog, Shalagi. The armies of Esau are referred to as a Leviathan, but um, you know, which is Leviathan, which is a, is a serpent. But Leviathan, you know, ultimately we know is the is the is the uh, the sea creature that the Heavenly Father created, and and we know that they have you know different underwater facilities, underground, you know, DUMBs, underground bunkers. All right, they can ascend a certain part. They they can ascend up into a certain part underneath uh, lower Earth orbit. Right, you have certain space stations up to a certain height that they can go. All right. And though they go into captivity before their enemies, this will I command the sword, and it's, it will slay them. And I will set my eyes upon them for evil and not for good. And the Lord power of hosts is he that touches the land and it shall melt. And that's what's going to happen to this place. All right, like I said, it's going to be a lake of fire from those different missiles. All right. Uh, Cause it talks about Esau in Ezekiel 31 and, and, Two, it says, Son of man, speak unto the Pharaoh king of Egypt, it's talking about Egypt, Esau, and to his multitude, whom art thou like in thy greatness? Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches and with a shadowing shroud and of a high stature, and his top was among the thick bowls. Uh, and it's, it's basically, it's, it's, it's referring, you know, him being a, a tall tree like that, it's referring to his, his stature, you know. He was, he was, uh, he was he was he was lifted up. Right? They've been lifted up with pride. Right? Like like the scriptures say, uh, talk about giants of men. You have somebody who's, which Esau is ultimately, you know, 
some of the bases of men is ultimately the, the lowest. <laughs> but right now they're they're at their their height, you know, of their power. You know, like the scriptures talk about uh, basically the, the bowls and our branches are going to be increased. You know, when we get into the kingdom, we, we're going to be made powerful. We're going to be everybody's going to look back up to us. Uh, the, the giants of men, you know, are going to going to return. And it says the waters made him great. The deep set him up high with her rivers running round about his plants and sent out her little rivers unto all the trees of the field. Therefore, his height was exalted above all the trees of the field and his bowls were multiplied and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters when he shot forth. All right, and I'm going to jump through it because we know trees uh, as a representation for men. Uh, verse nine, I've made him fair by the multitude of his branches so that all the trees of Eden that were in the Garden of Eden, uh-huh, envied him, right? Uh, what, what, did the, what did the other nations say? Who will make war with the beast? Who is like unto him? But it said they were deceived. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, because thou hast lifted up thyself in height, and he has shot up his top among the thick bowls, and his heart is lifted up in his height, uh-huh, and whose heart has been lifted up? Esau eat him. I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathen. He shall surely deal with him. I will I have driven him out for his wickedness. And strangers, the terrible of the nations. And that's exactly what's brewing up now. Right? The dragons of Arabia. The, 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 all these different nations which are about to come at you. Right? The chief prince of two, which they're Edomites too. You know, Russia. But uh, all these different other nations too. You know, it talks about that uh, Togomar and, you know, which is Turkey, Armenia, all these different nations. Um, yeah, China. What does it, what does it say? Ethiopia, I, I think it says, is one of them. Yeah. India, all, all of them. Yeah, the strangers of the terrible the nations have cut them off and have left them upon the mountains and in the valleys, his branches are fallen and his bowls are broken by all the rivers of the land and all the people of the earth are going down from him, from his shadow and have left him. Right, and that's, that's shortly what's about to happen. Right, but just to get to the point, verse 16, I, have made, I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall when I cast him down to hell with them that descended to the pit and all the trees of Eden the choice and best of Lebanon, all that drink water shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth. Right. And it tells you that the trees will rejoice. You know, the actual trees will rejoice and then men will rejoice. Right. Because when the, the righteous in rulership, the people, you know, the people will rejoice. This motherfucker finally, we finally got him. It says they, they also went down into hell with him. I mean, that was really the point. Oh, verse 18. To whom art thou thus like in glory and greatness among the trees of Eden? Yet shall thou be brought down with the trees of Eden unto the nether parts of the earth. Thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that be slain by the, the sword. This is the this is Pharaoh and all his multitude, saith the, the Most High. So it's a representation for Esau, who was, who was also the, the, uh, the rod you know the the Assyrian right he said I would, I would the Lord beat us with the rod of the Assyrian so and that's Esau he's the Assyrian he's the he's Pharaoh Caesar all these all these wicked rulers rolled up in one All right, but jump it back because somebody's going to survive this particular destruction. All 
right? Revelation 17 and 8, the beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition, right? Which is destruction, right? This is, this is one of those, this is one of those, uh, one of those beasts. This is talking about America. Okay. Verse five. And upon her forehead was the name written mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Now she's the mother of harlots. And what do you see? Harlotry, harlotry, harlotry. Nothing but harlots here. I was just out and about and I'm just looking and all I'm seeing is yoga pants, yoga pants, yoga. Just, you see the crack, the curvature, you see everything. You know, these women are shameless. They, they, they want to be out and about. You, you know it, man. You listen all, you brothers listen to all the, the women videos that we come up with. Right? Just shameless behavior. And a lot of dead children to 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 uh, proceed with that lifestyle. But anyway, the beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book. You know, and the beast is the the it's a, it's a If I slipped up, the woman, of course, we know. Who is riding on top of this beast is America. And then this beast represents NATO and the EU, their, their entire multinational government that they have set up. Right? And it's going into perdition, which is destruction. Which is Edomites <laughs> ruling each of those countries in that system. You know, just to just to connect everything. And it actually expounds on it. Here is the mind which hath wisdom, the seven heads of seven mountains, which are seven governments, on which the woman sitteth. So you have you know these these seven chief nations. And then you have the woman which is on top, which is uh America. And you have the different horns, you have the different uh you know, uh, little affiliate nations. And like I said, the uh, the seven kings, right? The, the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth in perdition. Right, which is talking about America, specifically. Because, and that's why we know uh, Revelation, because going back to Revelation 17 and 8, I hope that was clear. If not, you know, leave a comment, but I hope that was very clear. Um, it says, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold, yeah, so you have those who are there from the foundation of the world. How is that? Because the earth was created years and years ago. The scriptures tell you thousands of years, you know, not millions of years. But you have those who were created from the foundation, from the beginning. Right? The first fruits, the elect. And they've come back many times over. And then this, this final go around of uh, being in the flesh and, 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 and doing, you know, what we do. Their names are going to be found in the book of life. And they're going to be found serving the Lord. In this day and age. Uh, and that's why we say the hopeful elect. I hope I'm one of those men. Because I know for a fact I stand amongst those men. All right, Philippians 4 and 3. And I entreat thee also true yoke fellow. Yeah my yoke fellows. All the men who are, who are doing the work. Who are laboring honestly. Help those women. Which labor with me in the gospel. Mm, you have women. You know brothers wives. Or whoever supports helps. With Clement also and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. All right, so the laborers, those of us who are, like we say, doing this work. Because we're laboring to bring out the word of the Lord. It's a labor of love. All right, Revelation 3 or 5. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father. And before his angels. Right? So Yahweh Shai has to confess your name. Yahweh Shai 
is gonna is gonna like it's, it tells you Second uh, Ezra thirteen. He's gonna coordinate the elect. He's gonna put the crowns on the elect. All right, Revelation thirteen to eight. And all that dwell upon the earth. Matter of fact, verse 7. It was given unto him, Esau, to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Right? That beast that we talked about. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So if you get caught worshiping this man, worshiping his system. Right, with that with that uh, sea hip in you, your your name is not going to be found in the book of life. Right, no, you can't put it in and take it out. And I had a mag. No, 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 no. You were found worshiping. Your name is not in the book. You have a lot of people who 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 worship this place, man, and they've been. They think because they received a blessing that. Uh, the the, the 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 heavenly father is with him you know they think they can be deceitful the scriptures say the lord reigns on the just and the unjust all right i'm gonna finish off revelation 20 and 12 he said i saw it matter of fact verse 10 it says and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone right esau is ultimately gonna be Right, Esau Edom is ultimately going to um, Revelation 20 and 10. And the devil that deceived, so like I'm going to start over, that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So for a long time, like I say, day and night. How long? I don't know. But it's gonna be it's gonna be some purification going on because fire is a, is a cleansing agent. You know, there's nothing that's uh, you have certain things that are waterproof. You know, which eventually they can wear down. But you have things that are waterproof. You know, you have you have like things that are water resistant. Then you have things that are waterproof. But then you have things that are fire resistant. But there's nothing that's fireproof. It, eventually everything will, will burn the you know the strongest metal everything there's nothing that's fireproof it's, it's just fire resistant up to a certain point right and the, it says the devil right the, the, the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone which is going to be here where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them right no place for repentance for Esau no place for rulership in the kingdom of heaven and I saw the dead small and great stand before the most high and the books were open and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead and, and these books contain all the things that we've done. You know, whether you knew you was being watched or you didn't or you, yeah, the books are going to be open. Which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of the things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Right? So that's how they're going to be burned up in that lake of fire. Like I said, death and hell. Why would, you know, why would a place you burn forever cast into a lake of fire? Right, death and death and destruction are going to be, <laughs> and, and all 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 you people with a with a covenant, 
Like I said, certain certain people made a covenant with death. You're going to be cast in too. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. So certain thing, yeah. And you're going to be burned for a while. While uh, I, I don't know how long, man. I don't know. It doesn't tell you. But it says forever and ever. We know that's a long time. <laughs> All right. But the point is, man, you want to be an elect. You want to be on the first go around. You don't want to be part of, you know, a global event of destruction that's sanctioned by the Heavenly Father, man. You don't want that smoke. Uh, Shalom to the elect. Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, comment, like, subscribe. Give me some feedback. Give me some precepts. You know, Shalom to the elect.